Welcome to video 112 in series 3, and in this video I'll just show how to set up another gun. Okay, so you currently have the assault rifle, and uh, first of all I'll just start with having it so that it's inside of the scene and can be picked up. So there's a couple of things to note about it. So first of all, of course, I want to move it somewhere, but the parent is, the position of it is just somewhere off in space. Now this is due to the canvas dynamic crosshair and just the fact of whatever camera it's looking at. So even if it's looking at the uh, weapon camera on the player, that isn't going to help. Uh, so it's pretty simple. All you need to do is just add a dummy camera, just disable it, call it just camera uh, for moving I can, I can just call it something like that. And then go to the canvas dynamic crosshair, make sure it's screen space camera, drag it on. And now you'll find that the position of this weapon is sensible and you can move it around uh, easily. Okay, turn off the animator, uh, because otherwise then the uh, rigid body won't be able to take over. And also just disable the canvas ammo, since there's nothing that actually will disable that. Uh, in when it starts up and if it's not attached to the player while well, sitting inside of the player. Okay, and I'll just give it a bit of rotation as well in the Z axis just so it falls down nicely. And how about I just save that and hit play. Okay, and there you go. That's it. It's ready to pick up. And how about I just give it a different name as well while I'm doing this. So go down to the item name and just change it to Assault Rifle Test. And break the prefab instance as well, so I can't accidentally overwrite. And save that and jump in. Okay, there we go. Assault rifle test. Pick it up. And there you go. It's in the inventory. And it should just behave as per normal. Good. No problem. Can reload. Can throw it. Just fine. And yep. Okay, so that's that one. Let's set up another gun. So using this as a base, just duplicate it. Go back, set the rotation back to zero. So I can manipulate it a bit easier. Just move this one here. And uh, just change the model. So while I'm at it, just so I know what I'm doing, I'll just call this Assault Rifle RUS. I'll copy this name. And I will go ahead and put that into the item name. Good. I will also... Uh, change the ammunition type. So in the ammo, gun ammo, I will give it a unique ammunition type, which is Assault Rifle RUS. I'll make sure to set that on the player as well. So instead of just two ammunition types, now there will be a third one. Put that in, and I'll say the current starting ammo. Well, the starting ammo is like 20. Okay, going back, now I need to change the model, right? So uh, in those imported ones in the Modern Weapons pack, there's an assault rifle there. Let me just to minimize all that. Okay, good. Just drag it into the scene and uh, drop it into the assault rifle. Okay, reset the position and delete the um, uh, existing model that's there. Now, it won't be perfectly set up. You might need to change the set local position to something on the player. I'll let you do that. That's just fiddling around to something that you like. Uh, I'll let you do that. Okay, and uh, something though I might need to change, just the collider, maybe slightly. It needs to move slightly forward, possibly, so I'll just set the Z to zero. And I think that'll do the trick. Okay, that should be just fine. Uh, having a look at it again, uh, look at a few more things. Um, I might want to change some things like the gun standard input. Maybe the attack rate should be a little bit slower. And I'll make it more powerful instead. So the damage is like 30 instead. I could give it different sounds. Uh, I'll let you do that. You may have your own sounds that you want to put in for the gun shooting sounds. So you do that. Go ahead. Otherwise, everything else is, uh, well, is pretty much the same. Like you could make it stronger force application or whatever. Up to you how you want to do it. Okay. And I'll just save that. I'll make it a prefab as well in the guns folder. I'll just drop this one here. Uh, whoops, not that. This. That's better. Okay, so now I've got that. And just save. And I should be able to pick them both up now. And while I'm at it, why don't I just go and put it somewhere? Like uh, on top of a box, maybe. And uh, set the rotation like that. Let's see what happens. 
Okay, good. So it starts up, and I can see throwing block and the assault rifle RUS. Now my raycast is hitting the blocks because they're a bit lower. Oh, well, they're just getting hit by the raycast from the camera. So there we go. I can pick it up. I can pick up the blocks. And where is it? There it is. Good. I can see up 20 ammunition. Now look, you can see that the canvas ammo does need a little bit of adjusting. Let's go do that. Let's do that right now. Uh, so turn it back on. Yeah, I can see that it's not quite right. So it's pretty easy. Just drag it a little bit forward. Maybe about there. Uh, so it's still legible. Let's try that and turn disable it again. Okay, picked everything up. Good. So that's all right. You can turn on burst fire. You can reload. It's tw Twenty bullets to start off with. Okay. Okay. So that's working just fine. Now I just wanted to share another observation with you while I'm at it. Uh, these models, some of them anyway, are really good. They co even come with a magazine clip model. So you could create a ammo pickup. You know, you could change this. You could actually make, just drag it out and it'll be a separate game object. It's got its own material. You can set it up to actually make it an ammunition uh, pickup, just like this sphere here right now that you have. Oh, and I wanted to show you another thing. If you copy the um, item ammo component, I thought I said I would uh, share this with you later. Uh, you can actually uh, uh, paste the component again, and now call this one, it was RUS, so I'll just put that there. And I'll say like, you know, you pick up 100 bullets with this, so now you'll pick up both, okay? So uh, let me hit play. Okay, you can see I'm starting with 70 with the assault rifle. Uh, if the RUS, only 20, okay, I'll walk into it. Okay, I've now got 120, just reload there. And if I go back to the assault rifle, there you go. You can see it's now 120. So I've picked up both ammunition types uh, in one go. So I just thought I want to show you that. So you can make like an ammunition box. And well, then that would work really well. Okay, so that is pretty much it. You've seen how to uh, set up another gun. It's very easy. You can set up a pistol. And for that, you would simply turn off the auto fire. Uh, it won't have any... Uh, you know, being able to shoot, uh, it won't be as automatic. Of course, it won't have burst fire. Okay, uh, unless, of course, it's an automated type of pistol. But okay, that's enough for this video. And that's the end of chapter 6. In the next chapter, chapter 7, I was originally going to show how to make a bazooka, but I thought it'd be more interesting to show destructible game objects. And the example I'll use is like an exploding barrel. And that's pretty interesting because it's an item. You can pick it up. You can throw it. It explodes. You can shoot it. It explodes. You can shoot it. It'll lose life over time and explode. And you can, uh, well, while it's uh, degenerating, you can pick it up and keep it in your inventory indefinitely and then pull it out and then throw it and then it explodes. And, uh, well, okay, that's enough of that. But that's what the next chapter will be about, and it's very interesting, and it'll be uh, quite a lot of fun. And you can change that. You can, well, not even change it. You can apply it to any kind of destructible. You can make chairs, tables, uh, walls, whatever, that will get destroyed in the same sort of manner, up to you, however you want to do it. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and see you later.